All right, so how I do my cultures, I put three quarter cup of media. The media is like usually down to here and I fill it up with water to where it's like pretty much you see like, I don't know. I just mix it up to where it's that consistency to where it's all pretty much dissolved or it's all, there's no powder left. But I might have to change it up now that I switch to Georgia. I'm about to find out. But anyways, you put the lid on there so no other kind of flies get in there. Then you have all this condensation. What I do is I take a piece of paper towel and fold it into thirds. And I hold it. One second, I'll show you. Alright, let's see if we can do this. I'm actually propping my phone up on other fly cultures. Anyways, so I open up the top. I put the lid to the side for now. Now I take the paper towel and I hold it like this and I get down in there and I put it flat on the side and just let it go around. So you just keep going around and then there's all your condensation gone. So then you have your other side of the paper towel, you use that to clean off your lid. Alright, now we have the culture and the lid condensation free so what I do now is I get some active dry yeast sprinkle it just on the edges not in the center because that would be a waste that's where your your um, coffee filters are going to go all right so for my coffee filters I count out about five I fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then again. So you have a triangle like that. And I put it down in there, and a lot of people, they'll just throw them down there and leave them alone, but I like to take them in. Yeah, open it up and let it span the, span the, um, the um, culture container all right so here I have one of my cultures that came with me from Iowa it produced a fairly well can't really see it didn't zoom in oh well and this one right here is um, a culture using Excelsior that I bought from um, Short Thing Exotics and um, it's actually good to, I don't know if he got his from Josh's frogs or not but I'm going to mix them together and, you know, freshen up the bloodlines. And currently I have like a bunch of flies. Because I didn't think mine were going to make it. So I bought a bunch in Lawrenceville at um, Repticon. Well, I bought three cultures and I already had four made. But apparently mine did good. And then I have these three cultures that I got at Repticon. I'm still going to keep making it like I usually do. Keep up with my schedule. So you want to tap them in there. But as you're tapping them in, you can give the bottom culture. Just tap the bottom. And then after you're done, you start tilting it as you're tapping the side. And as you can see on the table, there's no fruit flies. It takes time to get that get um, to where you got that down. All right, but um, here's the four cultures that I just made. There's um more flies. I usually only put about half this half that much of flies. But yeah, also. So here's my media that I use. I need to make some more here soon. But um, it's pretty much just potatoes, cinnamon, um, brewer's yeast. It's a very, and um, powdered sugar, it's a very, very basic recipe. Then I have this from Josh's Frogs, methylparaben, mold inhibitor. I have it mixed in here too, but whenever I make my cultures, I still sprinkle a little bit on top. And um, I put um, water in a kettle and boil it until it's really boiling. 
then I just pour it in there and mix it up. I have like these little cocktail stirrers that I use. Store was closing down. I got them on sale. But yeah, um, fly culturing is pretty easy. But um, if anybody's interested in the recipe that I use, then I can post the link in the in the comments. But um, I think that pretty much covers it. Well, um, let me just go ahead and show you my mite setup. All right, so here um, I have my setup for, I put my dates and stuff on. This is a really old date, don't pay no attention to that. These are all my old cultures up here. So, um, see I have like that many cultures. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight cultures, but I'm still gonna keep up with my schedule because some of these are about to die off. These down here are dead. But anyways, um, so I get these um, containers from Dollar Tree some deli lids like here's a deli lid and um in between the deli lid and the container is diatomaceous earth i don't know how to say that i don't have the wording right in front of me but it's also called de but as you can see that gray area that's dead mites and this was just set up like um two weeks ago so it's already doing a good job but it's perfect for mites. One thing I about forgot, like one of these helps if you um, if you're wanting your cultures to cool, you need your cultures to cool down before you start adding flies. And I found this at like a thrift store somewhere, but you can get them dirt cheap at like Walmart and stuff. But it gives you some surface area because if you put them on the counter, they're just going to take longer to cool. All right, but anyways, this video is already about seven minutes. I think that pretty much covers how I do everything. Yeah. All right. Hopefully this helps somebody. All right. Later.